He is in the ring with a very pissed off Shadow MC. But unfortunately for him, that's gonna happen at Reformation in a couple weeks. And here comes Tyrant, formerly of EVA. And I'll tell you what, even though I have quite a shallow opinion of EVA because of their attitude, there were a number of guys, there, there were and are a number of guys that, that I respect on that brand. And Tyrant was one of them. I thought he was a damn good EVA champion. But I'll tell you what, I like seeing him here on Overdrive. And I know the BYU fans love Tyrant. And I think just as much, they love this guy right here too. The Psycho Kid, Adam James Irwin. Man. I think it was last week we finally got to see our first Falco Podge in quite some time. Poor Psycho Kid, Adam James Irwin is someone who I consider to be the master of that The only one who performs it more flawlessly than he is Captain Falcon himself. Because I think that's some sort of rule. No matter how good your Falcon punch is, you cannot eclipse, you cannot eclipse the Falcon himself. But anyway... Adam James Irwin now in the ring. And this place is going nuts because here comes the world heavyweight champion, the higher standard, C.J. Hawking! I'll tell you what, C.J. Hawkins, some people call him a blood hawk. And after what, Vincent and that deadly alliance of LVG, Jack Fox and the AK have been putting him through for the past few weeks. CJ Hawkins has to be looking for blood. And Vendetta, he's gonna get that opportunity to settle it with Vincent. Man. CJ Hawkins, he prides himself on being a fighting champion and of, and of being a guy, and of, and of being a guy who doesn't have to resort to bigotry bullshit to get ahead in BYU, unlike, unlike a certain someone else here, unlike some people, <laughs> but nah, seriously. As we're underway here already, and Tyrant just nailed a flying clothesline. Tyrant has really been looking good ever since the move to Overdrive. Tag made to Adam James Irwin. But it freaking took me by surprise, man. I did not see that coming. I did not see that coming that Tyrant was going to get drafted. I mean... I know, I mean, I know it was all open-ended in it and everything. Everybody could get drafted to anywhere. But man, that draft has produced some insane results. And we got tag made back to Tyrant. And oh! Shades of the Angel Boys with that move. And it's interesting that the World Heavyweight Champion CJ Hawkins has recently tag teamed with both of these two guys, Adam James Irwin and Tyrant. But Danny Ledger right now with the tag to Vincent. Russian leg sweep there by Vincent. Vincent is like the smallest guy in this match, 
And he's probably the smallest guy in BYU, and it, but he just missed the elbow drop. And the World Heavyweight Champion is now in the ring. Look at this. Ah! Oh. And check that out. That, I don't know what you would call that, that head scissors. Tag made. Who got the tag? I couldn't tell. Oh, oh man! What a, what a triple team there. And it appears Adam James Irwin's the legal man. He's got cover here on Vincent. Two count only. But man, not that, that double vertical suplex from CJ Hawkins and Tyrant, but ah! Oh, spike pile driver we just saw there from Danny Legend and Vincent. Danny Legend, now the legal man again. Tommy Gunn has yet to get any ring time. You could tell the different strategies that both sides have. I mean, Adam James Irwin, Tyrant, and CJ Hawkins really switching everything up quick and keeping the pace in their favor. But Danny Legend, Vincent, and Tommy Gunn being a little bit more methodical. That's why Danny Legend has logged so much ring time thus far. Low blow there. Danny Legend makes the tag to Tommy Gunn. Tommy Gunn now in. And there's a suplex on the Tyrant. Again, it comes back to that difference in the strategies that both of these two teams are taking. And Tommy Gunn. Atomic drop on Tyrant. You know, I was talking to Tyrant earlier. I mean, he told me that he was extreme, and he still is extreme, but now that he's on overdrive, he would much rather let his wrestling do the talking. And I tell you what. As he just made the tag there to Adam James Irwin. I mean, Tyrant's really making a name for himself. There's no doubt about it. I mean, hell, he did the first night he showed up here at BYU. It's Irwin with a cover here, the roll up, but only a two. I mean, Tyrant defeating Christopher Helmsley in his debut match at last June's Royal Showdown. I mean, it's funny. Helmsley was part of Aftershock and Tyrant was debuting for EBA, but after the draft, both of them switched places. Spin out there from Danny Legend. Danny Legend, who no doubt in my mind is going to be a future World Heavyweight Champion. I mean, he had a number of shots at the BYU title on Aftershock. Although he wasn't quite successful. And Tommy Gunn with a low blow that stomped to the crotch. Adam James Irwin, I guess all that did was just fire him up here. All that did, all that served to do was basically get him pumping. And Irwin tagging the World Heavyweight Champion. You know, a couple weeks ago, oh, CJ Hawkins took notice of what Hoovy had done recently on Aftershock. His actions against poor Nikki Angel. He called him a wife beater. Which I thought was pretty funny. But then again, Hoovy has caused quite a bit of an uproar with those actions. 